Good evening, I'm Krista Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. People are coming to support a town of Clay family devastated by a deadly fire that's taken the life of an eight-year-old girl. And a memorial continues to grow outside the Lawton Street home. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith talked with neighbors about just how hard this is hitting the community. Nancy Holler has lived on Lawton Street for the past 30 years. She lives right next to the home that caught fire on Tuesday night, claiming the life of eight-year-old Nezamiah White. I was watching TV with my dog inside, and I just heard really loud screams, um, somebody screaming. So I ran out, and I, the poor little kid just came running and just grabbed onto me. And Holler did. She was one of the neighbors who called 911. Other neighbors on Lawton Street also coming to the seven year old boy's rescue, like Larry and Catherine Argiro, who live two houses down from the family. And he was worried about her. Yeah. He kept saying, Get my sister up. Just the, uh, the sadness that's involved, the, the loss of life, and the, that they're such little kids. They have so much to look forward to. And the, the, the grief of the mother to lose her child. Outside of the home, neighbors have created this memorial with flowers, teddy bears, rosaries. People from near and far are also coming to pay their respects. I just felt horrible. I just feel horrible for the family. I have kids, I have grandchildren, and I just, I just can't even imagine having to go through something like this. And I just, I just feel bad and I wanted to leave something. And hopefully the family will know that everyone's thinking of them in the community. The neighbors are trying to get together to see what they can do to help the family, to make sure they are safe and to make sure they have funds to, to move on as best they can. And neighbors here are all very close and very um, always there when you need them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just, just when they find out that there's a need, they will be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're here. Being good neighbors, lifting up this family. In the town of Clay, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And North Syracuse Fire Chief Pat Brennan says grief counselors are available for all the first responders.